All right, you guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some kitchen bill hacks. So I'm going to build a whole kitchen, and I'm going to show you guys a few bill hacks that you can do in the kitchen to make it look a little bit nicer. All right, so for this kitchen build, I'm going to use one of my condo buildings, and I'm going to use this first condo right here. And all the condos have the same kitchen in it, and I'll probably just remodel all these and do the kitchens differently. All right, so let's just go ahead and remove everything out this kitchen, and then I'm going to go ahead and start building a new kitchen and doing the bill hacks. Alright, so first thing we need to do is go ahead and paint in here, and I'm going to use what I call my modern paint swatch. I only really use two paint swatches for painting houses in The Sims, and that's this one right here, and then I use the basic standard paint swatch, and I always use the white one in that one also. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and switch up the light, and I feel like that little light fixture was ugly, it was kind of yellow, so we're just going to use this one right here, more of a whitish light. We're just going to place that three of those in here. And the next thing I want to do is just go ahead and um, get some floors in here. And these floors right here, for the past two to three videos, I've been using these floors. I haven't used these floors in a long time. I haven't really used these floors before those two videos. I haven't used these floors since I first started playing Sims. So this is something a little different using these floors again. I feel like this gray looks nice in here. It's definitely going to go with the cabinets I'm about to use. Alright, so just like I always do, I always use these cabinets right here, these Brohill cabinets, and today I'm going to use the light gray with the dark countertops, and I'm going to just go ahead and um, place all the cabinets in place where they need to be, and then I'll start putting appliances, and um, I'm trying to think of the kitchen, if I was to do a window, I would put it right there, and I wish I could have put a window here, but of course it's another apartment next door, so we can't do that. But just know if I could I would have put a window above the sink and I know you guys are probably tired of seeing me use these same appliances So in this one right here, I'm gonna use this one right here I know I use this one a lot too But I don't use this stove right here as much as I use that other stove and of course I'm gonna use the same refrigerator like always all right So upper cabinets I would do the matching gray ones But I just feel like the white looks better than the gray cabinet. So I'm gonna just use the white cabinets up here I need to just go ahead and get me a corner cabinet in place here and I'm gonna do my design I always do which is raise the cabinet up I feel like this is something that I created the raised corner cabinet and I'm gonna just put one more right here and above the stove of course I'm gonna do a stove vent oh this cabinet is not lined up with those oh, oh that's a little bit lower oh hold on I forgot I got that cabinet raised up okay so I need to line this up with this cabinet over here okay so that's the perfect height right there yep all right, so now it's perfect. All right, so let's just go ahead and get a stove vent. And I never really show this on camera. I really do this off camera. I just shrink it down. And then you guys see the clip of me placing the um, stove vent in. But yeah, that's something I don't do on camera, which is shrink it down. And right here, like I mentioned, is where the sink is going to go. And I'm going to do a bill hack, a sink bill hack. And of course, it's not going to be functional. It can be functional if you raise it up to a basement. But this one right here is not going to be functional. Just want to get this sink right here and raise it up one and just slot it right in the cabinet and then turn free placement on and boom you got you a site a sink bill hack man i wish i could really put a window here i don't know what i'm gonna use to fill this space but i'll find something to put there and i don't know how i almost forgot to put the half a towel um cabinet here and the next thing i'm about to do i don't know would y'all consider this a bar or island i'm not sure what to consider this but i'm gonna just call it a bar for now so what I'm going to do is place a little bar right here, and I'm going to bring it out about two cabinets. Well, it's actually three cabinets wide, and then I'm going to place the island cabinets on the back, and I'm going to just scoot those in it a little bit. I don't want them poking out too far, and plus the bill hack I'm about to do, so I just need to scoot them inside those other cabinets like that, and they're not poking through. It's barely noticeable that I push those into the other cabinets. The only thing that you can really notice about it is the cabinets flickering a little bit. Alright, and the next thing I want to do is do a backsplash. You guys know I do a backsplash in every kitchen I do. And um, these are the backsplashes right here that I've mainly been using. This one right here. Um, this one looks nice in here, but I feel like it's a little bit too much gray, so I don't want to use that. Uh, this backsplash right here, this is more of something that you would use in the bathroom. I never use this in the kitchen. I feel like it's ugly using this in the kitchen. And this one right here is pretty decent, but... I said before I feel like that's a little bit too much gray so what I'm gonna do is just use the backsplash that I always use I know y'all probably tired of seeing this but I love this backsplash right here I think it's mainly the grout lines that I like the most about this backsplash I don't know but I feel like it's a very nice backsplash and it goes with every kitchen design I do 
All right, you guys, so I'm a little upset about not being able to place a window above the sink. So what I'm going to do is take these, let there be light windows, and I'm going to place about two or three of these over here in the refrigerator. I'm going to just raise them up a little bit, and I feel like this is a nice little touch. And I think I'm going to just place another one right about here. And I feel like this looks nice in this kitchen. Y'all drop in the comment section and let me know what y'all think of this. And I'm still debating on what should I do above this sink. Should I just put a half a tile cabinet there? Should I leave it open? Should I do a raised cabinet like that? I didn't even mean to do that, but should I do it like that? Should I raise that up? Or should I just leave it open? I feel like I should just leave it open. Y'all, oh, I know what I should do. Okay, so this kitchen is kind of giving me a little bit of a modern design. So what I'm thinking about doing is just putting two immaculate shelvings above you. You can put anything you want up there. So I feel like that looks nice. All right, you guys, and this is where the sink was one bill hack, but this is where the bill hack that I wanted you guys to see. I saw um Dr. Ashley do this bill hack right here, actually, and I was like, I got to do this in one of my kitchens. So first thing you want to do is go to accent tables and you want to get the marble table. Uh, it's this right here, and I'm going to just do it in white and you want to just turn free placement on. You could raise it up if you want to. It's up to you. However you want to do it. Um, I feel like raising it up is kind of gonna poke through so i think i'm gonna just leave mine down y'all see how the legs of the cabinets kind of poking through i don't want you to be able to see the legs of the cabinet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just leave mine flat to the ground and i'm gonna turn free placement on and i'm gonna just try to make sure that it's not poking out on the end but it's close to the edge and just cover up those ugly handles on these island cabinets and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to cover these ends. I'm going to do the same process again. Just make sure you got that lined up with that. And you got to make sure that this one is lined up with the other cabinet also. So you got to look at both things. You got to look at the edge and you got to look at it being lined up with the other cabinet. I feel like that's perfect because I'm going to cover these edges up. All right, so to cover up these edges, I usually just go to show all under the little chair. And I scroll all the way up until I find these little wooden... It's like wooden is wooden blocks I get these wooden blocks and um, it's depending on whatever color your kitchen is but you can get these flip them around and I'm gonna just blow them up you got the option to blow these up so I'm gonna just blow these up and put them on the edges of the island um I try to get this lined up the right way okay that's perfect right there it's not poking out here but it's nice on the edge so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and place another one here I usually wouldn't place one here, but I feel like in this case right here is necessary because of the floor, the little edges on the end of the cabinets. Just place one there like that. And I feel like this makes this kitchen looks a whole lot better. And it kind of gives it like that waterfall effect. Uh, can we paint this black? No, they don't have black. They only have brown. I wish we could have painted this black and it definitely would have fit nicely. And it would have looked like a waterfall cabinet, but we can't paint that black. So I'm going to just get those wooden blocks and I'm going to repeat the same process over here. And just blow it up lift it up one and place it up against this and try to line it up the same way i lined the other ones up it's kind of hard lining things up on playstation and boom perfect fit we're gonna just repeat that process all right so right here it's a little trouble doing this because it's a wall here so what i'm gonna have to do is remove this wall and just copy and paste that blow it up raise it up and place it in there so if there's any walls in the way you will have to remove it because it will stick to the walls if you don't you simply just draw your wall back and your little block of wood will still be there and it makes your kitchen look 10 times better so now let's get some bar stools in place there and i think i want to go with these gray and white bar stools i feel like this will look nice in this kitchen because of the color of the cabinets and the floors and i feel like we cannot end this video without putting some lights over the island okay so i got this light right here this is a long light but what i did was i shrunk it down one so it won't be all the way down to the cabinet but it's down low and we're just going to repeat that process you want to just get it shrink it down one place it and then align it the right way actually this one is kind of aligned the right way yeah that one is perfect like i said repeat that same process get it shrink it down and place it where you want to place it should i pull these out a little more i feel like they're a little bit too far in okay i feel like that's perfect right there all right so let's just get a little before and after of this kitchen
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the little B-roll footage of the kitchens, and I hope you guys enjoy these bill hacks. Um, comment and let me know what y'all think of this bill hack. I feel like this is a real nice bill hack to do in your kitchen, and I feel like it gives the kitchen more of like a waterfall feel to the island. Drop in the comment section, let me know what y'all think of this, and yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. And before I end this video, I just want to tell you guys, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We're trying to hit 10K before the summertime, so like the video, share the video, and subscribe to our channel so we can hit 10K. And I'm going to keep doing these different build hacks, different kitchen builds, different build challenges. And yeah, y'all drop in the comment section and let me know some different builds y'all want me to do.